Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1729, Sister St. Stanislaus Hatchard takes her vows in New Orleans, becoming the first American nun. In 1759, the British Museum first opens. In 1767, Andrew Jackson is born. He went on to become the seventh U.S. president and also the first president to come from an impoverished background rather than privilege. In 1820, Maine becomes the 23rd U.S. state. In 1827, the University of Toronto in Canada is chartered. In 1844, the University of Notre Dame receives its charter from the state of Indiana. In 1867, Michigan becomes the first state to tax property to support a state university. In 1875, Pope Pius IX appointed John McCluskey as the first American Cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church. In 1887, William Alden Smith becomes the first salaried fish and game warden in the United States. It was in Michigan. In 1889, the Pemberton Medicine Company is incorporated in Atlanta, Georgia. We simply call it Coca-Cola. Also in 1889, six U.S. and German warships are sunk by a typhoon in Apia Harbor, Samoa. 200 people die. In 1892, in New York City, Jesse W. Reno patented the first escalator. Also in 1892, New York State unveils the automatic voting ballot machine. In 1895, Enrico Caruso, opera's most celebrated tenor, makes his stage debut. In 1901, horse racing is banned in San Francisco, California. In 1906, Britain's Rolls-Royce and Johnson incorporates as Rolls-Royce Limited. In 1907, Finland becomes the first European country to give women the right to vote. In 1912, pitcher Cy Young retires from baseball with 511 wins. In 1913, Woodrow Wilson gives the first U.S. presidential press conference. Also in 1913, Cleveland, Ohio establishes the first small claims court. In 1916, President Woodrow Wilson sends 4,800 troops over the U.S.-Mexico border to pursue Pancho Villa. In 1917, Tsar Nicholas II of Russia abdicated the throne. In 1926, dictator Theodoros Pangalos is elected president of Greece without any opposition. In 1930, the USS Nautilus submarine is launched. In 1937, American writer H.P. Lovecraft dies. Also in 1937, the first American blood bank in a hospital is opened at Cook County Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. In 1937 as well, the first U.S. contraceptive clinic opens in Raleigh, North Carolina. In 1939, German troops occupy the remaining parts of Bohemia and Moravia, therefore the country of Czechoslovakia ceases to exist. In 1941, a blizzard in North Dakota kills 151 people. In 1944, the Italian town of Cassino is destroyed by Allied bombing. In 1945, at the 17th Academy Awards, the movie Going My Way and Bing Crosby and Ingrid Bergman win. Also in 1945, Billboard publishes its first album chart. The King Cole Trio scores the first number one. In 1947, American singer-songwriter-guitarist Ry Cooter is born. Also in 1947, John Lee is appointed the first black commissioned officer in the U.S. Navy. In 1948, Sir Lawrence Olivier is on the cover of Life magazine. In 1950, New York City hires Dr. Wallace E. Howell as its official rainmaker. Yep, I said rainmaker. Like to try to make it rain. In 1952, on the French island of Reunion, 73 inches of rain falls in a 24-hour period, setting a new world record. In 1953, at the LPGA Title Holders Championship in Augusta, Patty Berg wins her fifth title holders title. In 1954, the CBS Morning Show premieres with Walter Cronkite and Jack Parr. In 1955, the Dutch require TV licenses to watch TV. That sounds strange to us, but it wasn't so uncommon back then, and it really isn't much different than paid television now. Also in 1955, the U.S. Air Force unveils the first self-guided missile. In 1956, My Fair Lady premiered on Broadway at the Mark Hellinger Theater 
and lasted for 2,715 performances. In 1958, Oscar Robertson of the Cincinnati Royals scores an NBA Midwest region record of 56 points in a game. Also in 1958, at that same basketball game, star player Maurice Stokes collapses, going into a coma and is disabled for the rest of his life. In 1960, the Key Largo Coral Reef Preserve is established, becoming the first underwater park in the United States. In 1961, South Africa withdraws from the Commonwealth of Nations. In 1962, Richard Rogers' musical No Strings opens in New York City for 580 performances. Also in 1962, five science research groups announced the discovery of antimatter. In 1962 as well, Donald Jackson of Canada becomes the first skater to land a triple Lutz. In 1964, American actress Elizabeth Taylor married British actor Richard Burton. They divorced for the first time in 1974. In 1965, U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson delivered his We Shall Overcome speech, during which he introduced voting rights legislation that was passed later that same year. Also in 1965, in New York City, the first TGI Friday's restaurant opens. In 1966, at the eighth Grammy Awards, Tom Jones, Frank Sinatra, and Barbara Streisand are big winners. Also in 1966, race riots erupt in the Watts section of Los Angeles, California. In 1968, Life Magazine calls Jimi Hendrix the most spectacular guitarist in the world. Also in 1968, the Catholic Diocese of Rome announces that while it hated the idea, rock and roll music masses would be allowed. In 1971, chat rooms make their debut on ARPANET, the forerunner of the internet. In 1972, Francis Ford Coppola's movie The Godfather premieres today. In 1975, American actress Eva Longoria is born. Also in 1975, Ted Bundy victim Julie Cunningham disappears from Vail, Colorado. And in 1975 as well, That's the Way of the World, the sixth studio album by Earth, Wind & Fire is released and becomes the Billboard Album of the Year. In 1977, beloved TV series Eight is Enough premieres on ABC TV. Also that same night in 1977, TV comedy Three's Company premieres on ABC TV. It was a big TV night. In 1978, the Oakland A's trade the legendary Vita Blue to the Giants for seven players and $390,000 in cash. In 1982, actress Teresa Saladana is repeatedly stabbed by an obsessed fan. In 1984, at the 10th People's Choice Awards, Clint Eastwood, Burt Reynolds, and Meryl Streep win for motion pictures, and Tom Selleck and Linda Evans win for TV. In 1985, Symbolics.com becomes the first registered domain name on the internet. In 1987, Starlight Express opens at the Gershwin Theater in New York City for 761 performances. In 1988, the NFL's St. Louis Cardinals officially moved to Phoenix. In 1990, Mikhail Gorbachev becomes president of the Soviet Union. In 1991, four officers of the Los Angeles Police Department are charged with excessive force over the beating of Rodney King. In 1993, in a landmark case, the police commissioner of Casablanca, Morocco, is convicted of sexually abusing over 1,500 women and is sentenced to death. In 1997, Joe Molan of the Pittsburgh Penguins becomes the first American to score 500 NHL goals. In 1998, the revival of Cabaret opens at the Club Expo Theater in New York City and runs for 2,377 performances while winning four Tony Awards. In 1999, today's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees include Billy Joel, Curtis Mayfield, Paul McCartney, Del Shannon, Dusty Springfield, Bruce Springsteen, The Staple Singers, Charles Brown, Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, and George Martin. In 2004, French President Jacques Chirac signs the law on secularity and conspicuous religious symbols in schools. It is commonly known as the headscarf ban. Also in 2004, the discovery of 90377 Sedna is announced. It is the farthest natural object in the solar system ever observed. 
In 2004 as well, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees included Jackson Brown, The Dells, George Harrison, Prince, Bob Seger, Traffic, and ZZ Top. In 2010, six years later, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees included ABBA, Genesis, Jimmy Cliff, The Hollies, The Stooges, David Geffen, Barry Mann, and Cynthia Whale. In 2011, anti-government protests were held in several cities across Syria, which sparked the beginning of the country's civil war. In 2013, Justin Timberlake releases his third studio album, The 2020 Experience, which becomes the Billboard Album of the Year. In 2017, Disney refuses to cut the gay moment in the film Beauty and the Beast for Malaysian censors and pulls the film from Malaysia instead. Also in 2017, French fashion house Givenchy appoints Claire Waite Keller as its first woman designer. In 2018, retailer Toys R Us announces it will close all stores after filing for bankruptcy. Also in 2018, a pedestrian bridge in Miami, Florida collapses onto an eight-lane highway five days after it was built, killing five people. In 2019, terrorist attacks on two mosques by an Australian gunman kills 51 people and wounds 50 more in Christchurch, New Zealand. In 2020, European countries impose restrictions on gatherings and borders as COVID-19 death rates rise dramatically. Also in 2020, the U.S. Federal Reserve slashes interest rates to nearly zero to support the economy during the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2021, rallies are held across Australia to protest against violence and discrimination towards women. Also in 2021, the Vatican issues a judgment that priests cannot bless same-sex marriages and further that God does not and cannot bless sin. And lastly, also in 2021, Deb Holland is confirmed as the U.S. Secretary of the Interior by the Senate, becoming the first Native American to lead a cabinet-level agency. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and that it leads you to subscribing to my channel. I've got a whole bunch more videos out there and a lot more coming. So take a look. 